good morning guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today well i'm just waking up like i just woke up um i went to bed around 2 15 or so i was editing right before i went to bed i like randomly woke up at like 7 but then i went back to sleep and here we are now waking up like a couple minutes before my alarm time where we are going to be spending the day together today i have an, I have an appointment at 12 30 i'm getting my toes done and i get acrylic toes since i'm going to somebody new and i didn't book a soak off with them or a fill i don't yeah, since I'm going to somebody new, I just went ahead and soaked them off. And um, I don't know how the fuck I just whipped my leg around to the front to look good. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be going to get the toes done today. And also potentially just putting some things together. I actually cleaned my whole entire place um, yesterday. I also do need to go to Ikea. That could happen today. I went a couple days ago, but they suggested I go in person for what I'm looking for and what I'm looking to do. Maybe what we do. Regardless, it's going to be a great day. I'm so tired. My window is completely open. I love sleeping with the windows, with the blinds up and the window open. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and start to get out of bed. I'm going to make some breakfast and we're going to get this day started. What era do these remind you of? I got some house slippers because I don't like walking around the house barefoot, but I don't want to walk around with shoes on. So we got some house shoes. So it's a good thing that I have natural light because my power went out. I woke up this morning to my phone practically dead and I was like, okay, maybe the charger just wasn't working. So I tried to plug it in, it's still not working. I'm like, okay, this charger has been giving me some issues recently. So it's whatever. Then I come out here and I'm like, it's weirdly dark because I always leave a light on out here, like a little something and it's dark. Nothing's lit up. Oven isn't telling me the time, nothing. Oh, does that mean my fridges? <laughs> yeah, um, basically I forgot to pay my power bill. Yay, responsible. And the reason I forgot was because, well, when I just got here, it's already been, what, three weeks or so since I've lived here? No, it's literally almost been a month. Yeah, so in a week from now, it'll be a month of me living here already. So yeah, like for me to see that like rent's already due, again bills are already due again it blows my mind because it does not feel like i've been here for this long so i'm trying to sweep as i do every morning along with vacuuming up the rest because i don't have a dustpan we're gonna have to use paper because i don't have a dustpan and i can't vacuum up the crumbs but i remember there was a time where my family oh my gosh we were without power for like a month so this really ain't shit Hopefully if I pay it today, especially since it's still earlier in the day, it turns on by tonight because I got some good food in the freezer and the fridge that I don't want to go back. I'm just using a Swiffer. Okay guys, so I'm back and I don't know if you could tell that did not take long for them to turn it on at all. Basically, I took myself to Starbucks and I wanted to use their whatever one I needed to charge my phone because it was completely dead. And I was hoping they had Wi-Fi so I could pay the bill through my laptop. I couldn't connect to their Wi-Fi for some reason, but thankfully I have a hotspot. So I just, you know, got my phone turned on, turned on my hotspot, paid my bill, and they said it would turn on within the next four hours of me paying the bill. Thankfully, by the time I even got back, which was maybe 30 minutes later, it's turned back on. Probably because it had just turned off. Because last night, I was just chilling in my own world not even thinking about how the power was about to turn off but i've never been more thankful to have power it was weird because i walked in and i didn't even notice that it was back on like i went to make my little muffin because i went to target too to just get these because i could get like six of these for the price of what i can get one pre-made warmed up breakfast sandwich from starbucks for and i just went to put it in, i'm like oh shit it's working so we're back in business i put too much milk in it so it's a little moody. But we are about to head to my toe appointment. We're gonna get these dogs done. I am very excited. This will be my first time going to this place, so we'll see how it goes. I feel really good about it. Their work looks amazing on or on Instagram. This is like a nail salon, but they have a bunch of different texts, and you can choose who you want to do your nails or your toes. Like you can book on the website through that specific person. So I actually have a nail appointment with them as well in a couple days. I'm excited to try them out as far as my nails because my last nail appointment, I the girl was so sweet. I really liked her, but like look you see this keep in mind my fingers are not crooked. This hands fine Can you tell like 
but um yeah and then this one on this finger at first the tip was applied so crooked she had to like rip it off and then like drill it down and at that point it was bleeding and it hurt and i'm really sensitive to blood so i almost fainted because i could tell when i'm about to pass out so that was an experience overall i love the color they've lasted you know they've done me well but like i know there's probably i could probably get a little bit better service so we're gonna just keep looking around until i find the place Alright guys, so update. I don't know where my car tripod is. Once again, I was just using it the other day. Yeah. It's either in the car or somewhere in the house. I don't know, I'll find it. But update, I am on my way to my tow appointment right now. I have been in this area a couple times for both my hair. Oh, this is where I go for my hair. The nail salon that I'm going to, it's called Ibanez nails i think yeah i've never been but i'm excited i'll let y'all know how my experience goes i feel like i'm just gonna be kind of like the test guinea pig over these next couple of weeks as i just find who i feel works for me like who are gonna be my go-to's so this is the second nail tech that i'll be going to since i've lived here so yeah i've just been chilling i ate my little um kodiak cake muffin on the way here i think i'm gonna do i I kind of want to do like a nude color to where they kind of blend into my skin not completely but i feel like that'll just look super sleek and classy no matter what i wear especially because the toe is going to be out here in miami so yeah gotta make sure they uh, look it right they were actually this set was really easy to soak off because trying to drill off my nails takes forever but this was super easy i think also because i can use the same hand for both so it's not as challenging but yeah i'm seven minutes away so i'll get back to you guys once i get there like the Cali Club Definitely on the lengthier side, but I mean it makes sense why because they look perfect exactly They came out exactly how I envisioned them to in my head dogs all on the dash But this is what they look like perfect nude. I feel like it's really flattering the length shape perfect She put love into this set. She just did such a good job Definitely will be going back. I actually have a nail appointment here in a couple of days to get my nails done We're gonna go ahead and head back to the house and eat I'm hungry Which is making me tired because I need to fuel my body again so i'm gonna go ahead and head towards the house i need to restart my phone because the directions but yeah i've never had this nude color on my toes before but it it looks so nice this makes me kind of want to do something like this on my nails in the next couple of days i probably will i have an idea in mind but yeah it's been a good day so far i'm just tired i just need some food in my system i want to eat a burger i'm gonna make burgers some tater tots probably eat some ice cream some snacks i already i'm always thinking about what i'm gonna eat next i don't know about y'all but i always am thinking about all right what we eating next what's for dinner first thing in the morning because i don't want to get to that point and i don't know what i'm eating 45 minutes to get home it did not take that long to get here there's traffic but i'm not surprised at all <laughs> Oh, um, someone had asked me if I can use the other pans on this, um, stove top. And the reason I can't is because it's just the material that they're made out of. I don't know. They don't work for the stove. I guess they're supposed to be magnetic or stainless steel something. But basically when I turn it on with a regular pan, it'll light up. And then watch what happens. It just turns off. But then with this one, you turn it on and it stays on so yeah i had some of you guys tell me it doesn't have to be a i forgot what type of pan this is called oh an induction pan it just has to be magnetic or stainless steel i think if i'm not mistaken but see how this stays on there's a specific type of pan that'll work for the stove it's really weird Okay, so I have some berries and I also have my vegan burger, but not really vegan because I also have cheese and bacon on it, as I should. Oh, and also I will tend to my cat in a second. I am not neglecting him. Um, it's not in here. Hold on, Baba. What? Yum. 
Hey guys, good morning. I have this big ass blanket. Do you remember this blanket? I forgot I had it. It was in the back of my trunk that I need to clean out so bad. Maybe we will do that together one of these days. Like, why are you using your car? The back of your car is a storage unit. You can't even see the floor. But I know I could easily get it done in like 30 minutes. Anyway, good morning, guys. I woke up at like 10 o'clock here. I um, was supposed to wake up at 6 30. <laughs> to work out and then i was gonna go to ikea before i started recording today because i'm really only going to ask a question just see if there's anything i could do in person about something i've been trying to do over the phone but they said it's better to go in person so i was like i'll just go ahead and get that done before i start vlogging today because it's not really exciting it's just there so yeah just getting a later start to my day but that's what i get for staying up so late but to be fair i was editing and i'm loving the way the video is coming out or by the time this video video's up you guys would have seen that one because that's my last video i'm really loving it but yeah i was gonna wake up early to work out clearly i didn't wake up early but i'm still gonna go work out because i still have yet to get back into a solid workout routine since i've been here and that's I really have no excuse. I just haven't gone consistently. I haven't given myself a schedule like, okay, you go this day, this day, this time. Get it over with earlier in the day so you don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. I just haven't done that yet. But I'm gonna really lay that out today just because it makes me feel good. I feel really accomplished and I feel really ready to take on my day once I get a workout in whether it's heavy lifting or just you know a little something to get your body moving but I'm not making a big breakfast this morning because I'm just trying to get in and get out Ari's gonna be coming around 12 and it's already 10 46 so some almond milk I'll just eat more after my workout it should tie me over to after I need to get more milk I'm out. I need milk and trash bag go my me later Okay, so the most recent thing that I've been using to learn Spanish. Started with Duolingo, then I got an app called Falu. I still use those apps, but not as frequently, so I lose my streaks on them a lot. But, I mean, I have no reason, no excuse to not be at least getting on those apps once a day. I don't know if y'all have seen the ads for the seven-day Spanish program, but basically it's like a lesson a day. They're really short and sweet, like six, seven-ish minutes. And, like, the way he does it is he goes over words, he talks about how to pronounce them, he puts them in sentences, explain what everything means, and then at the end of the lesson, he repeats the sentences to you, and you have to respond in Spanish. So... It's it's like it keeps you on your toes and it's more interactive even though it's not live or anything it's challenging which is good so i'm on week two there's a couple days like you're supposed to do a new lesson a day but there's a couple days i've done like the same lesson for two days in a row just to make sure i understand before i move forward but i'm gonna do lesson eight Hola, bienvenidos a la lección ocho esta noche quiero salir esta noche means i want to go out tonight quieres salir conmigo esta noche means do you want to go out with me tonight voy a poner even my app that tells people like I just got a visitor thing it says tiene una visita I don't know who the fuck this is oh I do I can accept it so I let her in. even my notifications I didn't put them on that they were just I guess you're just expected to know puedes darme un vaso de agua can you give me a cup of water siéntate Sit down. Silla. Esta es tu silla. Esta es tu silla. Tienes hambre? Quieres comer? Sí. Ten, yo tengo hambre. Um, ¿Qué quieres comer? ¿Qué quieres comer? Oh my gosh. What's wrong? What? I've never heard you meow like that. <laughs> Get out. ¿Quieres salir esta noche? ¿Quieres Salir conmigo esta noche. Yeah, so that's why I'm gonna have to go over it again because if you are in a situation where somebody is speaking to you really in any language, whatever language you're learning, like the reason he does that at the end is because like if a native if somebody's gonna if a native speaker is gonna talk to you in public, you don't really have the time to sit there and process it and try to translate it into your head. <laughs> Because one, not every word translate to, translates to English and that's something I had to learn. Like you can't translate everything in Spanish to English because they're two different languages. But that's where I like, not shut down, but I'm gonna have to go over it a couple times to actually remember rather than just going over it the few times he did already. But yeah, that's what I found like the most <clears throat> effective. I downloaded Rosetta Stone as well. Rosetta Stone is nice, but you can't really do much on it unless you pay for it. 
But yeah, I mean, with this program, he suggested you go over them multiple times, which I'm definitely gonna do, but you do have to pay for it. It's like a one-time fee, but then I think there's a monthly thing that you can pay for, like the VIP program he was talking about, or maybe that's not a monthly call. I don't know, but I didn't pay for it. Maybe I will in the future. Uh, esta cubana, esta cubana, si, sí, estoy muy a cubana. Um, ¿Quieres salir o quieres salir? Oh, no. ¿Quieres salir o quieres comer aquí? Uh, ¿Quieres caminar a la playa? Uh, it's really hard to think of things off the top of my head. I do need to go to the bathroom. Um, ¿Por qué no quieres un sándwich? ¿Por qué no tengo hambre? Quiero un sándwich con amón y queso y una... Um, okay, I'm gonna get my cup from the car first so I don't have to keep using the water fountain. Actually, no, no, I don't feel like doing that. I'll just use the water fountain. Yeah, now my hands smell like cat food and I'm not leaving that on my hands, so I'm gonna go wash them. I don't know why they put on this stuff. After workouts, I just feel no so nauseous. I feel like I'm about to throw up. That kind of means it was a good workout. Like, I just kicked my own ass, basically. It's not anything to worry about. I just need to take a second to recollect, drink some water, and then once my stomach settles, I'll eat because I'll start to get hungry. Whew, that was a kick ass workout. And since I don't go as frequently, it's a really kick ass workout because my body isn't as used to it, but it needs to be. So, we're gonna like the more consistently I go, the easier it'll be to do that. I'm not saying I want my workouts to be easy and not a challenge, but that's nothing much different than I would normally do. But um, <sighs> good way to start the day. <sighs> it is 12.14. I'm gonna get some passion fruit juice, but it's so sweet. And I like sweet things, but it's really sweet, so I mix it with water. It's so good. It's so good, it makes me mad because it's like this is the only thing I want to drink. into um an accident not actually but um no nope, nope actually <laughs> well, let's try it down <laughs> i was talking about how i should have recorded it because that is just how you have to drive down here but we just got to starbucks and then after this i think we're going to go to ikea mm -hmm. they told me i should go in person because they were saying like if i wanted to order what i'm looking into i would have to like schedule a delivery in person say what yeah i don't know how accurate that is but honestly it's just if like, they just want you to come to ikea just say that yeah but it's a way to get out of the house so. 
I don't mind going because I feel like whenever you call, everyone just reads the same script and they don't really help you. Right. So it's easier when it's in person. We just got out of Starbucks and I don't okay, remember sorry. ordering a venti. I swear I have my Starbucks order embedded in my mind, but I don't know. Either I accidentally ordered it or she was being nice. And she remembered my name and it literally made my day because I've never had that happen before. It's like I'm already a regular and I just got here. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Got my coffee. This is a venti iced coffee with three pumps of classic, three pumps of vanilla, and half and half. Directions to Ikea. Ikea, last time I checked, it was like a 40 minute drive with traffic, but without, or with toll roads, it was like 27 minutes. And then Ari has a sun pass, and she put me on hers, so it's less expensive that way, until I get my own. So that way I could just pay her if um, I need to. I was talking about how you put me on your um, sun pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This shit does not load. <laughs> your phone? Yes, it's like you I have to restart it to. So you're not. You're oh, not. I did, but like. You didn't change it. Now. I'm going to. But you're on the news if you're going with Verizon, right? Not yet. You, but this is going to be with, my number. You're yeah. Go, you're going with Verizon. Yeah. I got a 305 number. Period. <laughs> you official. I have heard that that wasn't possible because they were taken or something, but he said. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> they got so many numbers. Everybody can have a 305 number if they wanted to. That's what I thought because I was yes. like, how do you run out? Child, they lying. <laughs> the only thing that I despise when other people get a new number because I keep my messages with people that I talk to often. So now I'm going to have a new message thread. Oh, yeah, because you like you to keep, keep all the pictures and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, but you're going to keep it because you have your phone. I know. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, damn, shit. That's very true. I'll, you could still just like not delete it, though. Not delete the, phone, the other phone number? Yeah. So that's not my number yet. Okay, let's put it in there. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go to Ikea. Our box roll out. Life was pissed like a motherfucker march. She said, what, what, gotta sleep with that car? Loving that body, I'm listening. I love you, little spider and Jackie. I know you said, Tisha, so me. Yeah. I'm not waiting. Like, literally everything. Oh, that was good. It was. <laughs> well, I'll rate it like a, so like a Seven. five. Oh. <laughs> I had high hopes for myself, but you just like being on it. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take a five. I've had better. We made it to Ikea. We're already in the couch section. This is the one that I want. That one? Yes. I, was just about to say. I want that exact. All right. We're in Ikea right now. Thankfully, we're in the couch section, so we're able to just chill, just sit while we wait. <laughs> I don't know who. Anybody dusty, busty, busy, busty, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just got into my bedroom, and as you can see, this is how I've been chilling. It's been what? It's almost been a month already mm -hmm. since I've been here. But yeah, so this has been my setup. I've been big chilling. I don't mind being lower to the ground. We got the bed frame. We're going to put this bed against the wall to just move it out the way. I literally wash this shit every day. I don't even have cats in here and there's still cat hair. But yeah, just to move it out the way. I just washed these. So I'm gonna, well, my floors, I just knocked. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna sweep them up. You wanna do it this way? Yeah, let's go. That's the box frame. Oh shit! Oh, I got it. Oh, my fucking cashier. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, it's on top of that. Wait, can go you ahead. hold it so yeah. I can? <laughs> there you go. Two strong women that don't like other body. Right. Okay. So I ordered this off of Lowe's, and it's this gorgeous like gray and black bed frame. Okay. So we have these gray pieces, and then there should be some black pieces as well. I just realized I don't match the floor whatsoever, but oh, there. What color is the bed? What color is the bed? Right. Um, this is like gray and black, but the floors are wood. But there's not much you can match with this floor. I don't know what they It's literally whatever. Okay, so we got that. Yee! These are the Okay, we have this and then those are the slides. I love and hate these things. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever done anything like this? Yeah. I feel like I did. I have not. not. As long as we follow the directions, we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so well let's look at the directions. Right? Yeah. It really should not be that hard. Hard slips, so it has everything labeled so we know. Step one. Ha! Ah. Where's my dad? <laughs> we don't need no man! Now that like I live further away, it's not like I can just have my family come over to the lane. I can have my older brother, or my dad, or any of my brothers. Normally they'd be doing this shit for me, but not for you, not you not. not I'm an independent woman. Well, too independent. They already walked down the first step, so hopefully it makes sense to you. Okay. Oh, 
We can do this. Period. Yes, we can. I'm more convincing myself because I don't think <laughs> They all have letters on it. So. Yeah, so they're labeled, which helps a lot. I love how you just hear the city in the background. <laughs> Yeah. It does? Eight? Is that the number, name of the, or the letter? Okay. Number. Yeah. Oh, I skipped step one. I'm and step it one. literally says step, yeah, seven. Okay. Then two sevens. So there's two sevens? Yes. Put, no, this is eight, and it, it extends, and then just put it with the other eight. I think. Wait, so two sevens? That's eight. You have a next. What is the seven? Ain't that, no, this is are the same. That's what it's standing on? There's literally no way. No. It's just flipping over. What is it going to stand on? It's going to look like oh, this, this is the middle. Oh, okay. oh, gotcha, gotcha. I need two. Attempting to. Does, is this supposed to get tighter as it goes down? Mm hmm. Whitey tidy lefty Lucy. This with these long ass claws is not um <laughs> Nails are like cute until you actually have to do some shit. Is this supposed to get really tight or am I doing it wrong? It's not supposed to get that tight. Wait, look, it's literally creating like a dent. <laughs> There's no hole. I see. Look. You put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> I literally put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> She wanted to help and then she put it in the wrong hole. Almost oh. broke your damn shit. Yeah, like it made a dent in the back. Oh, six is the um, right piece. Oh. Yeah. Six is footboard rail. So how am I going to drill? Huh? You going to drill into that? Oh shit, I don't have that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so they said to not use a power drill for it, so we're supposed to force a hole into it because it won't be seen. And that's probably why the screws are short so it doesn't go through. <laughs> okay, we get some more. Yep. Okay, okay, she figured it out. Damn, okay. You wanna do this one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad this is the perfect size screwdriver. Yeah. Here. y'all an Amazon haul because I ordered quite a few things off of Amazon and I know what I ordered but I don't know what's in the boxes specifically so I'm so excited because this is like Christmas let me get some scissors so first things first this one is not from Amazon so I'm very curious to see what this is oh this is my birth control I got it Oh, now I can start it at a different time instead of 5 p.m. I got my birth control. That's good. I was assuming that's what it was, but the package looks slightly different, so I wasn't hurt. That's good because I ran out. And I actually had like a real period for the first time in months. I thought I lost it, but it is just from the birth control because as soon as I got off of it, it was at the time I would normally have my period and I just had a regular period. But I also got some pet eye wipes for my kittens because some of their eyes, they just drain throughout the day and it stains their face and it's just good to get rid of that. Keep their eye area clean, so. I got some of those, and then in this one, we have, oh, I got a baby blanket for the cat. Looks like this. So cute. Oh, it's so tiny. It has a little spaceship at the moon, things like that on it. Super cute. And then this box is pretty big, so I know it has multiple things in it. So in this one, we have, oh, this is, um, you know, like when you wear a bathing suit. It's like a little cover up for your bathing suit, but it's just like a skirt. I forgot what it's called. Oh, beach sarong. I got this for the beach. It looks like this. So y'all can imagine with a little bathing suit. 
Well, you could tie it like this. Mmm, this is going to be cute. I've never had one of these before, but I got white because it'll match everything. I got that. And then next thing, my whole entire family shares one Amazon card, so there's always orders on Amazon. Somebody has always ordered something. Okay, these are my anklets. I ordered an anklet because my last one had broke. Yeah, it just kind of snapped in half, which I had ordered off of Amazon as well, but for the price, I think it was my fault that it's, no, it should not be snapped as quick as it did. This one is just, um, looks like this. It doesn't have anything on it. I love the way anklets look, especially if the dog didn't be out. It's just a cute way to accessorize. Anklets are just such a look. That looks so good. And then I also got this one that has an A on it. I've had this one before. This is the one that snapped. So I bought another one probably means I shouldn't repurchase but for the price they last We're just gonna try one more time. That's um food. So then the last thing that I ordered was a scratch post for my cat So they have this little hidey house here. I got my cat's furniture before I got my own furniture We have this cat tower which I had in my last place But this is actually another one that I had because I accidentally purchased this was like back in maybe February when I had initially ordered them and the other one it had just kind of got worn down There was cat hair all over it. And so this is just kind of a fresh start for them It's the same exact thing and they love it and it's just a way for them to be elevated off the ground Let me get the food first Okay, so in here, but what's really cute about this scratch post can y'all guess what it is? Oh, it's a palm tree. I think y'all are gonna love this. and I'm gonna have to restart and wait a week. It's gonna take like a week for it to kick in again. I chose the most random time to take it the last time. It was 5 p.m. So this time around, I'm probably gonna do around probably like one. I just feel like five is such like a random time. I'm not gonna do any later than one or earlier than one because sometimes, yeah, obviously, obviously. The pictures that they take of your food is so funny. You know how they take a picture once they deliver the food? It's so weird to see a picture of the outside of your place. Okay, there's a couple things that I'm missing. We must have missed a box. No, no, it's not. Oh, so in here, oh, a tripod. This is the tripod I normally use, but I must have lost it on the way here from moving. So I got another one of these and then I'm missing, oh no, the other thing is probably in that box with the dresser, I guess. I got like, not an actual dresser. It's something to put my clothes in, the ones that I don't want to hang up. But this is the best. Everything that I ordered, I'm going to leave in the description box so you guys can purchase. Just if you're curious about anything that I ordered or you want to know where I got anything, I'll send y'all, or I got y'all with the links. You know if I can get them, and I'm gonna get it. You got potro pical? Yo, my girlfriend thinks potro pical is garbage. Cause she didn't get the sauces that go on the on the top top. Right, it's fire, right? But you have to get the sauces that go with it, right? You should have seen what I got. I just, I just got rice. She got a chop chop with no sauce and thinks it's, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Like who gets a chop chop but doesn't get like curry sauce or nothing? Yeah, like you get some type of sauce and you put it on it and you eat it. She got no sauce and ate it. She thought that shit was disgusting. My girlfriend went to Poultry Pica because she never had it and got a chop chop but got no sauce. That's what it, yo. You got a chop chop but no sauce. Yeah, but look what it looks like. I promise like. you if you go into Poultry Pica, as soon as you walk in, there's a whole like section just for sauces. Really? Yes. There's like nine or ten little things with sauces that you're supposed to get. Mm. Ew, that stinks. It smells like chocolate. Your breast stinks. Sure. Mm. No, it doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't get none of my shit. If anyone's breast stinks, I was just joking. I was joking. Hey, come here. Ew, I just smell like shit now. I just feel like a five, you're always doing something. Yeah, exactly. But one, like, I probably haven't even left the house yet.
right guys, so I'm in bed, not on the floor, on a mattress. I'm in a bed. Slept in it for the first time last night and it's great. Absolutely love it. It did not fall apart um, in the middle of the night. There's like paw prints on my... I forgot to... <laughs> Is this musty in... Yeah, I was supposed to close off this video last night, but I ended up editing last night until around 3.30 and then crashed. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just end it now. So this outro doesn't really correlate to the video because it's like a day later, but an outro is an outro. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos lately. It's seriously a completely different vibe. My head itches. It's honestly a completely different vibe down here and I feel like you can kind of sense it even through content and just like the energy that I'm giving off. I hope that my video feel good to watch for you guys also i did get some questions if i'm doing vlogmas and um the answer is no i've never done vlogmas it's not changing this year i would prefer to put my sanity over trying to post a video every single day of the month and then i know it's a thing to do weekly vlogmas but honestly i think because i just moved here uh i also wasn't really pushing it but once again i've never done it i think people just kind of expected me to because a lot of people do it and then like i don't even know if i'm really gonna decorate for christmas because i haven't even decorated period yet so we'll see i don't know maybe we'll do some christmas festivities but i will not be doing vlogmas i just continue to post as if it's any other day of the year i'm sorry um but we should definitely do like some christmas related content but yeah with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end off today's video here I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!